Think of their emotions. These are children who will be sent to Auschwitz, to the concentration camp. I wonder how people could do things like that. It could have happened to anybody, but it targeted the Jews. My father told me, from now on, your name is no longer Friedenberg. Your name is Maxim Rigo. We always had to be on alert. We had to hide ourselves. I was a boy of eight then, and I knew that my life was different from the lives of other children. Many people were hiding Jews during the war. They were welcome in this region. We, the children, were raised always with the knowledge that our parents were doing something very useful, that they were doing something illegal, and that they might be arrested. You could be executed if you were hiding members of the resistance or Jews. My classmates didn't ask me funny questions, so life was nearly normal except the dangerous fact that at any time the police could show up and discover me. Those people demonstrated, you can make a difference. What I myself can do is small. Maybe it doesn't change anything. But one thing is for sure. If I don't do this tiny little bit, it is certain that nothing will change. The most I did was to bike to a farm somewhere with an envelope being told you give that envelope to the farmer. Each of us acts his part in this play 